Hi, my name is Dr. Tibor Lazar. I'm owner and surgeon of Lazar Veterinary Surgery. I'm now going to talk about perineal urethrostomy. This is a surgical treatment of the lower urinary system in male cats. I want to thank Webster Veterinary Supply for allowing me to show the illustrations from their DIA app. Uh, this is a surgical procedure that we perform for male cats that develop urethral obstruction. Now looking at some anatomy, we have the bladder, urine exits through the urethra, and then out through the penis. <clears throat> In the male cat, the urethra is very narrow. In this example, we're looking at a cross section. We're seeing the inside of the urethra, and in this particular illustration, there are stones causing an obstruction. With this type of obstruction, the urine backs up into the bladder, the bladder will get expanded, at the very least become red and inflamed, as this uh, illustration shows, and in a very short period of time will create a tremendous amount of pain, and within uh, even as short as 24 hours, we could see kidney failure. So clearly it is a life-threatening uh, problem. What you're going to notice clinically is your cat is going in and out of the litter box frequently, uh, with minimal urine being produced. Very commonly they're going to be crying out as they're urinating, sometimes vomiting as well, um, lethargic, not eating. Uh, there's uh, some other signs that can go along with this. If this is a first-time episode, uh, once you go to the emergency clinic or your family veterinarian, they will commonly treat conservatively. They will put, at the very least, a catheter through the penis, and through the urethra into the bladder to let urine exit, uh, along with other IV fluid support, intravenous medications. In many of these pets, the catheter could be removed in a day or two, and they are clinically normal. The concern, though, becomes for a pet that has uh, more than one episode of urethral obstruction showing this pattern that it, of recurrence um, in, in these situations, we tend to recommend uh, a surgical treatment called perineal urethrostomy. What we're doing surgically is removing this narrow area, the penis and the narrow part of the urethra, and the remaining part of the urethra is then pulled slightly back and attached to the skin. We basically make a longitudinal incision, open it up, and so you will see a new opening that is below the anus. Um, and then it's sutured to the skin within a couple of weeks, heals, and they can urinate normally. Understandably, many owners cringe at the idea of this surgery. And I've heard some people refer to it as a sex change operation. Well, and it's true that they, the male cats, once it heals, they will look anatomically similar to a female cat. It's important to realize that their behavior is no different than it was before surgery. So these patients, following surgery are comfortable because they can urinate and we've hopefully prevented uh, future episodes of urethral obstruction. Now it's important to realize that uh, we haven't done anything to treat the underlying disease. For stones that may develop, these stones will redevelop, but in the new situation after surgery, the stones should hopefully be able to pass as they most likely would in a female cat, but sometimes the stones will stay in the bladder and continue to grow there, in which case a, a different surgery, a cystotomy, may be required to remove the stones from the bladder. Uh, your veterinarian will most likely recommend a special diet, a urinary diet, to hopefully slow down or prevent stones from forming in the future. Sometimes, though, this blockage doesn't occur to stones, but rather it's due to spasming of the urethra. There's not a specific uh, obstruction that we see physically, but rather there's a tremendous amount of inflammation, and because it's already so narrow, the urethra, even a small amount of inflammation could cause an obstruction. So in many of these cats, we will see straining develop after surgery a year later, two years later, <clears throat> and maybe even more regularly than that, and it's important to have your pet checked out. As long as the bladder is small, we can realize that urine is actually passing and that the straining is rather due to inflammation. Now, as far as potential complications uh, with urethrostomy, one of the common complications is some bleeding. Uh, this will go on for a week or two following surgery. Um, you very commonly will see some bruising and swelling. 
Um, and it's important to lift the tail up and look at the surgical site at least once a day. Blood clots may develop. It's best to not do anything about them if there is clearly a blood clot that's plugging up the exit then we encourage you to have your pet recheck with your family veterinarian or an emergency clinic and we can gently wipe away these clots but it's not something that we would recommend that on a regular basis you clean the back end because it may just be more irritating to the healing incision. It's very important that while the incision heals that your cat will wear an e-collar. We can't allow licking of the incision. At the very least the incision may open up and then we'd have to re-suture it together but another complication that we'll see is development of what we call a stricture, where this new opening will close down to the point where urine may no longer be able to pass. We don't see this very commonly. Uh, in some patients, it will develop very soon after surgery if they're licking at the incision area. It could be even within the first month. Uh, other times, it could be six months out, two years out, at some point in the future. There will be naturally a slight narrowing of the opening, which is why we make it very large, typically it does not stricture down unless there is some other potential cause. If we notice after suture removal that your cat is licking at the area excessively, if you notice that at home, then we may have to put the e-collar on for a longer period of time, perhaps give some other anti-inflammatory medication. Uh, in the worst case scenario, if stricture does develop and we have to do a second surgery, uh, typically, the second surgery is very effective, so there are, it's nice to know that there are options. So, uh, to sum up the procedure, it's a very effective surgery to, to, uh, to eliminate this life-threatening problem of urethral obstruction, and in a male cat, it certainly uh, is highly recommended, especially in cases of recurrent uh, obstruction.